Hello, Linda the Forge here. I've got a drawing tip for you. It comes straight out of Anyone Can Draw in 10 session, and it's kind of near the back when we start getting to uh, human anatomy. It's kind of a, a fun thing, because a lot of people say, oh, I can't draw, I can't draw a stick man, you can't teach me to draw. Well, most people can, can draw a stick man, and if you can't, just keep practicing. It makes a pretty fun duo. So as you see here, we have our typical stick man. He has you know, pretty, he's pretty skinny actually, a lot of, a lot of chicks would, you know, like to be that skinny, but, well, not me. <coughs> but he's got some problems, you know, I mean, he can't, you know, what's he going to do? He's got no elbows, he's got no knees. So, we're going to help our stick man evolve. Oops, I forgot his knee. Well, we'll give him a knee over here. He's running. He just got that leg straight. We'll give him a knee here. And elbows! Yay! He's so happy. Yay! It's a new beginning. He can uh, move a little more. But uh, he can probably maybe only move his head and go like this and stuff. Chicken dance, maybe. But uh, what else can he do? Well, he's missing kind of some hips. You know, and some uh, and some shoulders. Maybe he could do more in life if he has shoulders. So we've got his body. So let's say this is where his bum would be, and his shoulders obviously would be wider than his butt. Oh, he's a big, tough, strong guy. And of course, we have to add the elbow. Yay! Oh. He's given us a wave. And he's got a knee this time. There. He's a sports guy. He's about to kick a, a ball, maybe. But the cool thing about that is he's a very strong man, I think. Big, big, wide shoulders. So now he's got shoulders he can move around. But if you actually tried to draw a body and put that together, he'd look kind of a little on the goofy side. So, let's go one more step. Let's give him a rib cage. And at the same time, we'll give him some hips. So not just, you know, a place to put his, his legs, but something that might swivel a little bit. Let's put our body. We'll give him a rib cage. Kind of about the way we think a rib cage, cage might be. Look at the box here. And knees. Oh, his hands on his hips. He's proud he's got hips. Or maybe that looks like my mother. My mother used to do that a lot. <clears throat> Getting happier, he's starting to feel a little less like a stick man and a little more like a human. Now once you get to this stage, the cool part is, you can start to play around with how he would actually move if he was a person. So you'll start looking at people around you differently. Maybe watch people dance, like um, those celebrity shows and stuff. You know, watch how they move their hips and, you know, and everything else in the ribcage. So then you can start to make him, maybe we'll, let, we'll make this guy play soccer or doing a dance. So, I'm going to put the rib cage on a bit of an angle. And of course, the back bends. It's not a straight line like that all the time. So there's somebody kicking. Having problems with the feet today. And there you have the beginning of a man. From stick man to more stick man. There's more sticks in this stick man. But eventually you can start to see how you could turn him into a human. You can see where his chest would be, how his arms would work around there, if you were to kind of trace it out. 
you know. Oh, and a little butt in there. You can see how it would work. All from just adding a couple swivel points for your stick man. Birds and a some thighs and stuff. Well, have fun with your stick man. I hope uh, you um, send some in. I've got a Facebook group. Just look for Linda LaForge and uh, anyone can draw and you can join the group and, and post some of your pictures. Maybe some of the art other artists will, will share and help you in your drawing journey. Thanks!